Welcome to the deep part of fall. I keep thinking that the sun will be going away for some time, but then it surprises me when it reveals itself in the afternoon. I'm always grateful for the sun and the warmth and healing that it brings, especially in the cooler months. But during the night, the cool air crept in over the warm ground and created a misty fog that set the perfect scene for autumn explorations. This is the time of year when all of nature is slowing down. The trees are shedding their colorful leaves. The animals are preparing food and getting ready for their winter rest. Yet humans are preparing for their busiest time of year. At the end of this month, many of them will celebrate the candy holiday, then the pie holiday, followed by the cookies holiday, and then everyone's favorite, the holiday where everyone drinks too much and stays up way past their bedtime. And yet, they'll tell us that it's flu season. Is it really? Or are we just consuming way too much sugar? Or are we just so out of sync with nature that our cold and flu symptoms are ways that our bodies are telling us we need to slow down. I often wish that we could go back to a time where humans were more in touch with nature and the seasonal cycles of our location in which we live. I think we'd find more health as well as peace of mind. By no means am I saying that we shouldn't celebrate the holidays. I am simply suggesting the ways we are celebrating them and the pressure we put on ourselves in these colder seasons is not necessarily beneficial to our overall health. What if instead of spending our time rushing around to create the perfect costume, find the perfect turkey or gifts, we focused more on the coming together aspect of these holidays, spending time together, reflecting on the year, and celebrating the togetherness. I suppose I am thankful that this has been the way that my close family has chosen to celebrate the holidays for the past 15 years. For a long time, we all lived in different cities across the world, and it was rare for us to be home at the calendar designated holiday time. Instead, we started to cherish the moments when we were all able to come together for a meal which actually only happens about once every two years. This is your permission to slow down, to be thankful for what you have around you, to remember that your health of mind and body are the most important things. This is a reminder that it is up to you to take care of them, to take care of yourself. Allow yourself space this fall and winter to go within. Remember who you are and why you're here. So when spring comes, you can bloom. I wish 
you all the very best this fall season. And until next time.